To safely operate your tree shear, you first want to do a walk around. Check the frame, the cylinders, and the hoses, and any fittings for any type of nicks or damage or looseness. You want to correct any deficiencies before you operate your tree shear. If you want your blades to last a long time, it's always advisable that you do a walk around just to be sure that there's nothing in the way of the blades. Remove any loose rocks or debris such as steel posts or anything else that could get in the way and damage your blades. You're now ready to cut your first tree. So we'll open and close the shear a couple times just to make sure that there's nothing jammed in it and let's do some cutting. Since we're using a flush cut shear with a grapple in place, we want to slide the blades evenly on the ground to make sure that it's as close to the ground as possible and then begin shearing, allowing the grapple to close down around the tree and hold on to it while we shear. As soon as we're finished cutting, we want to slowly move away from the tree, holding on to it with the grapple and just going very slow just to be sure that the tree's not too heavy as to topple the machine over. Now we simply move the tree over to our waste pile and dispose of it by slowly tilting the tree shear forward and allowing the grapple to open up and the tree to fall onto the pile. And there you have it. It is as simple as it looks. By following a few safety standards, it is easy for you to maintain a safe work atmosphere and enjoy your tree shear for many years to come. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, or if you have any other questions or concerns, you can contact us at skidsteersolutions.com.